L stand 360 is what it's called. So we're gonna completely unbox this. I kind of already opened the box a little bit, but before I took everything out, it started taking a little bit. I said, let me put it back in this box and try it again. So even in the picture here, it shows it folds flat, which is important. On the original design here, you could fold it flat, but these knobs, once you start turning them too much, it's like that locking thing. It's like a risk that you don't want to take. So it's like a lock it and leave it kind of the situation with this one. Um, this one's more, I, it would appear to be like the, uh, the stand that I was um, really happy with, which was the Stanton um, Uber stand. So... Uh, let's look in the inside. It uh, shows you the height. It has a height um, adjustable. Um, you can adjust the different levels of height. Uh, whether you know you want it up higher your laptop or not. Um, again, this one here that I have, this white one from Odyssey. It's only this high because the the system I use it with needs it to, needs it to be this high. I have another one. Um, that's not this high it's, a, it's like about it's about mid to high right around here so it's enough that you can put your hand um, above your controller your mixer um, your CDJs your turntable uh, you know whichever uh, system you're using and um, there's enough clearance this is a lot of clearance and I really wouldn't want my laptop to be over my head or right in my, in my face I mean it didn't I think you take away from the look for a DJ again unless you have a different application like a different setup I should say uh, where you're like standing most of the time and it's more of a show presentation and I think this height would be okay because you're not you know stuck with it um, well, yeah, and it's not sticking out is what I say so here it is Odyssey USA, or to put a Audi USA. Comes with this uh, this nice little case. It's like a foamy case. And so has these. Uh, I guess this is to put additional grip on it, 3M backup tape, uh, let's see. Uh, see USA, Audi USA, L stand, now again this, uh, I got it because it's a newer version I think than this other one, this metal one, I don't know, I don't know, if, if in the comments it's actually not, maybe it came out the same time or something, but believe it's a new one now this one has a locking mechanism I believe too so push the push it down on the right side push it down here and then that locks the, the feet like that Then uh, you do the same for the top, but it looks like this one goes forward, which on the L stand it actually went back and forward, um, and that was to prevent, I believe, um, since you're leaning and putting all the weight in the front of it, it's basically where you're DJing. Uh, and the weights in the front of it, it's less likely to tip back. Uh, since this has a system where it can go down this way, that's a bit risky. If this either fails, it doesn't have a stopping point. I mean, the good thing I think with this one, the advantage would be if you want, if you have like a, a tablet and uh, you want to fully have it adjustable. Um, a lot wider than the original um, L stand 
that I have. You can see, it's a completely wider as that one. And then there's this one. It's about that much wider, it seems like. So, um, that's good, but it's, again, if you don't have much room to work with, it may be a disadvantage. Um, it doesn't have the full square platform that I was referring to, where it's important to have the, uh, the, the, the full base of holding it down, because, again, if it's uneven, the... If you're on uneven, an uneven um, table, um, this will tend to move. Uh, since it has a double, uh, two, two basically two, two things that are holding it up to stabilizes it better, so it doesn't wobble. If it had that one pole, I could see it wobbling a lot more. So that's another thing. This is definitely um, an upgrade or a better option than that one with a single pole. Um, and it has a wider stance, so it may help in keeping it more flat, uh, stable in the in the on the on your table. So uh, let's give it a shot with a um, see how it looks with a laptop on top of it. So I put this here. Um, looks like the little feet pieces are kind of lo um, not long enough, almost. Uh, let's see. I wonder if these could be adjusted. I think you can um, undo this to take these little the tops off, and it's just literally just copying the, the, the thing. But uh, let's try a different lot. Let's try the same, that's fine. Um, it's actually the same laptop, we're just gonna not make it a tablet. It's an older laptop, so it should fit, yes. So you can have it up like this. Let's move this up. Which then you can, you know, use your mouse and everything. Um, Can't really go any lower. Uh, hmm. It's not enough room for me to work with here. I gotta. Overall, it's a great um, laptop stand. Um, it has a couple things that are just not completely uh, making me feel comfortable with its durability. Since it's made out of plastic, it, uh, it has a couple, I don't know, they're kind of metal some parts of it but um, I guess you could push this together and it will raise the bar so you can have this at a height level that you like um,
That's the uh, Odyssey. L stand 360. It's not uh, what I recommended um, for a for a basically like it's uh, other all metal constructed a uh, laptop stand. If it's for a place that's not gonna this is not gonna be moved around a lot basically if it's not for mobile DJing um, if it's gonna literally stay in one spot for a long time uh, like mixing in your bedroom and your studio just leaving it there then um, and you have enough room because it's extremely wide uh, I would say this is a good Good stand to get. It's, uh, it is a little bit more than I expected. Uh, costs maybe 20, 30 bucks more than some other cheaper stands. So you could go with those stands as well. But if you're uh, want something that gives you a good presence, uh, this one will do that because it's a very recognizable uh, company. And they've Done some great products. Um, I'll rate it within one to five. Uh, to me, this is it would be a three, which is basically smack in the middle. 